Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time for me to serve like Wimbledon. Yeah. Tell the DJ to turn it up a notch again. Uh -huh. It's incredible, I'm feeling yeah. like the hawk again. Woo. Let's get green. If it is what it is, then you can bring your friends and my friends get it in. And Man, I'm telling you. Season opener, too. I'm going to bring you with me. You got to come with me. Huh? You got to come with me. Season opener. Oh, it's okay. a whole different feeling, man. It is. Like, I ain't never been to no season opener, man. Yeah, I mean, the season opener with this one, just imagine 50,000 people. 50,000. A lot of folks. <laughs> yeah. A lot of folks. In the Metrodome, you know what I'm saying? And it was, it was funny, too, because I'm sitting in the crowd, you know what I'm saying? And I'm around all, like, I'm, a, I'm around a million people with Joe Mauer jerseys on. And don't none of these niggas know I did the song that they listened to. It was crazy, man. It was real different. Okay, stand by. We about to go on. Yeah. Come on. Why not? Why not? Talk to me. Who produced it? Um, Rock City. My man Rock. He produces most of the drugs. Here we go. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you definitely versatile, man. Thank you. I had to give it to you. Thank you. Shout out to my man Rock City and um DJ Envy, my DJ who, who was scratching on there. My man Rock City, he's out there right now. For those of you who don't know, he's a Minneapolis native. He's, oh, they know. They yeah, know. He's they under know. DJ Khalil now, who is under Dr. Dre's production team. So he's yeah, a pretty big deal they right know. now. They LA. know. <laughs> when, when, when we first started with Future Flavor, um, it, it, it was kind of like taken from the aspects of, you know, how hip hop grew in New York. And yeah. I think uh, Smoke and Delight, you know, molded it in the way they wanted to, and it just got handed down. To um the mad Mexican, yeah. The mad Mexican handed to me, and then what I wanted to do was kind of bring it a different approach to just music, you know, in general, to you know, kind of be that other side, yeah. you know, other 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 vinyl, yeah, or or, or CD, you know, compared side to they don't see, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But also, it I wanted to open the door a little bit more wider, so y'all could just bum rush it. And be heard and have mm -hmm. slots that know that your song or somebody new gonna get interviewed or you know yeah. nobody's gonna be biased to to your music. Now we actually got some calls. You wanna take some calls? See yes, more online. Definitely. Camo J Live, it's Future Flavor. Who's calling? Hey, who's this calling? Oh, okay, for sure. God bless you, man. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. So, um, hey, I, I put it to you this way. Um, people's listening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They they will call and they will let you know. Yeah. So, um, you definitely got love from us. Yeah, um, the conversations we had a, a little while back, mm -hmm. we're gonna get into a little bit earlier. I gotta take this little small little break. And we're gonna be back with you a little bit more. Uh, we, I think we got one more song of you. You actually wanted to, you know, Twin Cities to hear. Yeah. So yeah. we'll get to that. So I'm gonna let you actually go ahead and say, you know, you now listening to 89.9 Camo J. What? The People Station, brother. <laughs> Your boy A and R, 89.9 Camo J.